Hello and welcome to this lovely Mercedes SLK uh, compressor model. I'll start this near side front corner and work our way around it. So we have a scuffed alloy on this near side front wheel, just on the outer edge there. So that shouldn't be too difficult to tidy up. Tire, plenty of tread on there, that near side front corner. We don't guarantee tyres in any way, shape or form, but we do try and give you a good indication of what they're like. So we've got a little uh, trolley dent in the door there, so a little dent master coming down the near side. There's nothing too much to write home about. Rear wheel is in great order and again the tyre is super. A few chips to the door edge here and a little very a bit of light scuffing just to the quarter there so that'll want flattened polishing. Uh, I don't think you'll paint the quarter but just bear that in mind. Um, the odd little stone chip has been touched up there on the rear around the back of the car we've got the odd little uh, graze to the rear bumper but again nothing to write home about and again this offside wheel in good order um, tyre is great too and again just the odd little bush scratch sort of here here couple just on here nothing's majorly broke the paint I don't think I can't get my nail in them but they are there and again on the door that looks like it's on in fact some of that's coming off with my nail and again some very light polishing there so it wants a good buff uh, and polish again alloy in great order so there's one alloy wheel refurb and again that tire is in great order a few little scuff marks again like bush scratches just on here um, so they should flatten polish it's a good colour uh, to get away with the odd mark. Uh, nose cone, uh, would you paint it? Uh, to be fair, if it was a Porsche, I would be painting the nose. Uh, we've got a number of chips, some light scratches, and again, a few chips just to the front there. So there we have it. Interior wise, we've got this lovely red leather interior and black carpets. It's got over mats in it as well, which is always a good sign. So the Mercedes mats there are like new underneath. Service history, always done at Mercedes. Uh, down at Mercedes Shrewsbury. So we have one, two, three, four services with Mercedes. Last one done at 32,000 miles on the 23rd of the 4th, 13. So not too long ago. Got the, air, the wind deflector in here um, as well. This fabric one that's been added. It is an automatic. So there we go. I'll jump in the driver's side and just go some through some of the controls and what specification we have. So electric windows are standard. We've got auto headlights down there as well. No warning lights on the dash. Car's done 37,705 miles. And on the centre console here, we've got auto air conditioning as you'd expect. Um, Stereo, and I'm just seeing if we've got a telephone module. So no phone attached. I'm not sure if that means no no Bluetooth or whether it's no phone. But uh, there you go. That's what we have. So I'll just shut the roof so we can see that's all in full working order, and I'll just show you the hood so you know there's no damage or anything like that on there. So there we go. Here she comes. So there we go, uh, I think we've also, do they fold, no I think that's just the electric mirrors, um, there we go, so we have two keys as you can see there and it's a multifunctional steering wheel uh, on the dash, I'll just show you the hood, uh, the winning bidder please feel free to download the photos, they're yours once you've had the winning bid, so there you go. It is subject to a cherry transfer, but that is underway, uh, so it shouldn't be too long before we get the documentation back. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.